a second Cadillac video in a month? What's going on? You guys have seen the past, the Cadillac lives. Let me show you. It usually lives in that garage right there, but lately I decided let's use all of my garage space and install a garage door right here and park the Cadillac inside. There she is, her new parking spot. We had a big storm last night, so it's a little chilly out, a little wet. But, as you can see, the Cadillac fits awesome in here. And today, we're gonna pull it out, and we're gonna work on it. So I think I measured the space like eight times <laughs> before I put this door in, just to make sure this car would fit. But I can walk all the way around it on both sides and have actually quite a bit of room in the front and the back. So the Corvette goes in there, Cadillac goes in here. Well, there's not, no man can ever say you have too many garage spaces. So now we have one more. I plan on firing it up today, running to the Walmart, and then we'll start working on the wiper conversion that I talked about in the last video. So here's the garage spot without the caddy in it. Uh, I used to have all my parts in here, but I've since moved them upstairs. Um, but yeah, it's big enough for the caddy. A lot of cars will fit in it. So let's check under the hood real quick before we go to the store. And then once we get back, we'll work on her. In Texas, you have to drive your cars when you can, because. Before you know it, it's going to get way too hot and then you're out of luck. Not seeing any fuel leaks. That's for, I didn't put that for the wipers. Yeah, we should be good to go. So here is the new electric wiper motor setup and also the switch that will go with the wiper and washer. Now before I start this, let me show you guys this clip. Alright, so I figured I'd take this uh, video opportunity to show you what a Texas rainstorm looks like. So, as you can see, this gas station awning isn't giving me much, uh, much protection, but it's something. So it was a little, it was a worse a little bit a while ago. Right now it's not too bad. So. The problem is, when I drive it, the wipers can't handle this much rain. So when it lightens up, I'll go ahead and drive it home. I'm not afraid to drive it in the rain, just... There, there we go. There's some good weather action. I'm not afraid to drive it in the rain, I'm just can't see. And when you can't see, it's not safe, so... So... It is not raining as much as it was. Turn on my vacuum wipers so you guys can see them. Yeah, they're awesome. There's fast speed. And there's low speed. We'll go on low speed. This is a phone video, so hopefully the quality's okay. Yeah, they kind of have a little bit of trouble when you get to go. When you get, oh, when you get going. I don't know why. Probably because the engine's taking all the vacuum. <laughs> Those are helpful. Let's see, maybe when I can get to driving straight. Oh, there they go. Yeah, because they don't like it to. They don't like accelerating at all.
Welcome to lovely vacuum wipers. So this was in one of the previous videos. You can see that the vacuum wipers really under load, they don't work. And all the old timers will say, eh, rebuild the wiper mode, it'll work just fine. Well, you know what? It doesn't. And I'm not going to... It's not reliable, so it's going to happen. As you can see, the carburetor is already not stock, and at this point, I'm... I'm building this car so I can drive around with my family, and at this point, having something that works and is guaranteed to work is much more important than, you know, keeping it factory, keeping it original. Guys, it's a it's a Sedan DeVille. It's not a, you know, Eldorado convertible. It's, it's, anyway. So, I know I'll get complaints in the comments, but you guys can just save it because it's going to happen. So, per the instructions, it's a pretty easy setup, so... Basically, you just remove uh, your old motor, put on your new motor, you know, install the switch, blah, blah, blah. The hardest part is going to be wiring. So this originally will come with just a normal wiper switch. So all this does is two speeds. It's off, and then it's low, and then high. And this is what the back of it looks like. I elected to buy a separate switch, which is wiper and washer, which is two speeds, plus when you push it in, it should wash, basically run the, the pump that we looked at last time. So here's the wiring for that little little uh, um, switch. You have white, yellow, blue, red, and then washer pump. So something cool with this is, obviously this is really ugly. If this was sitting in your dash, it would look nasty. If you had some kind of hot rod, maybe, but I mean, really, really, no. So, what I bought is this shaft extender. Basically, what it is right here is it extends the shaft of this out so you can use the switch head from the original washer wiper mechanism that I have. So, I'll show that to you in a second. I'm going to apologize to you guys about video quality. I have to shove it here in this dark garage because it is just super duper duper windy outside and it's going to make my audio crappy. So it's either crappy audio or crappy video and I would, you know, audio is never good to listen to. Wind noise is never good to listen to. So hopefully. So it here's the out. original wiper switch, I guess you could call it. This just fits on with a set screw. But the way it works is um, this shaft spins and it pulls this cable which then turns the uh, vacuum motor on and off. And then also it has this bar inside of it that pushes, breaks the seal on this vacuum line, which then turns the squirters on. But we'll put that aside and all we have to deal with is this. So I forgot that this had this post in it. We're probably gonna have to cut this to fit, but guys, they made thousands of these Cadillacs and they all have the same wiper switch. So if I need to buy another one, I can. But uh, it's a one-piece unit. I don't believe it comes apart more than this. Uh, but we'll see. Here's the switch. Here's the shaft. According to the instructions, the, inner, the steel inner piece of the shaft extension will fit over the shaft of the switch. Leave 1 16th, 1 8 inch space between the base of the switch and the base of the steel inner piece. The aluminum housing will screw over the shaft. So let's put this together and see if we can't get it to work. So this is how it's going to work. Basically, this slides... It's got a, it's keyed. So this will slide onto here, and then that will go inside like this, and it'll all screw together. Basically extending the switch to be long enough that we can put it in the dash and use this. At least that's the goal. So we'll see how that fits. So I figured out how this button goes together. It's actually a pretty smart design. So this spring sits inside of here, this goes in here, but it's not a it's not an interference fit. I mean, it'll come in and out. The way it works is this rod through the back has little teeth on it and a little clip, and that pushes inside there, and then that holds the button against the spring and holds it all together. So you have to remove that. We'll see if we what we need to cut that to be later, and then this will now go on here, and. Um, let's put the set pin in, 
Now with everything installed, let's pretend this is the dash right here. All you're going to see is click, 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 and then push. And you should get a washer. Just like that. The way that the wiper, the vacuum wiper motor is attached is you have a main vacuum line that comes here which I intend to remove and plug. Uh, it runs underneath the intake and attaches to this four-way T right here. Um, one, of, one, one of these lines goes to the auxiliary vacuum pump on the oil pump inside the engine which has a tendency to suck oil back into your engine. Um, and then the one part goes to the, the washer bottle, the other part comes up to the wipers. But that can be removed, all those lines can be removed, and then this can be removed. It's just two screws that hold it on. So the old vacuum wiper motor just comes off with two screws. And it, it's pretty simple. I mean, you can hear it run. Oh. And it's... You can see how it works. When I turn the little knobs that the wipers are on, you can see that's all it does. So in the instructions it says basically to position the, the motor like that. According to these instructions and the motor, you look like, see, it's not completely straight. So we'll install it like that and then um, put the screws back in it and it'll be installed. To begin the wiring it's pretty easy. I'm using all factory holes. So this ground for the motor I'm using the same hole that held on that four-way T. For all the wires running into the car which are these three I'm using a what, what's left of a grommet um, that's right here. I'm gonna wrap all these wires in electrical tape like I mean if you look at the factory harness that's how they came so we'll just replicate that right there and then everything else will be up under underneath the dash in the car. We have the wiring all done so the harness goes in the car, we have the choke coming out and then we have this green wire for the washer pump and here is the final product which is you know what I had to add this little nut on here in order to get the chrome to stay it's not 100% like factory but it's way better than a a black plastic switch. Most people won't notice the difference. So here we go. Here's the test. Slow speed. High speed. And I've already tested with that test light the power. Does, when you push in the knob it does go to that green wire so that should run uh, the water pump. Or not the water The washer pump. Alright. Ready? So, they don't park exactly where I want them to, but we can fix that. In the last video, I had talked about using a pump like this. So, you know, it fit pretty well after drilling the hole in the bottom of the, the jar. You know, they just fit right in and then you plugged your hose into it and it seemed all you know fine and good the problem I was having is water was working its way through the pump and then dripping out of the electrical connector and I figured that wasn't such a good idea so even though I spent money on this we're gonna toss it and we're gonna move on to something like this so this seems a little bit more I guess watertight I don't really know what it's for or what it you know if it's for a car or you know what it's for but um, I've tested it and it works pretty well. I've held it all the directions you could hold it and it hasn't leaked water. So the plan is have it connect like this, go from the jar to the pump, pump to the line that goes into the car. Uh, these fittings are temporary until I can find ones that aren't T's and they'll just be you know black plastic connectors. But uh, I plan on zip tying this pretty much underneath the washer jar so you won't be able to see it and I guess just going from there and seeing if it's gonna work. So it is super windy outside. I apologize for any wind noise, but basically I have the motor zip tied right here underneath the bracket. Uh, I have the positive lead from the 
um, wiper switch right here and then I'm gonna ground it I'm thinking I'm just gonna ground it right here on the the bracket for the bottle maybe I'll loop it around and so you can't really see it over here uh, but that's pretty much it this end will go to the uh, supply and then the other end will go out to the the bottle and when it's all installed it should it should work it should come all together here's the bottle filled up let's push the washer see what happens oh it shoots way better than that other leather pump look how high it goes it goes all over the, the roof which means I gotta I gotta re-aim these things but hey it works and it looks really good doing it Got my sticker on there. Boom.